Hello YouTube people, it is me again. Um, so I have been playing around with uh, Windows 7 for a little bit now. And my basic, or my setup is, it's actually good. And it is really Windows Vista fixed. Um, so let's just take a look here. I'm not going to pretend it's perfect. It is uh, still a beta and it has blue screened on me once. Um, although Vista itself was blue screening until Service Pack 1 was released, at least uh, for me. Uh, but anyway, so what I found so far, stable operating system aside from that one blue screen incident and uh, uh, some problems when it's booting up in the virtual machine, um, it is it appears to be a fairly solid operating system. Uh, the architecture itself is still basically Windows Vista, at least that's what I've been able to gather from uh, reading various tech forums and whatnot. Although a lot of the usability issues have been fixed. Um, so in terms of additional stability, um, the design is one of the base or one of the major improvements. Um, and this I didn't really I meant to bring this up last night, but I didn't. Uh, the biggest change is Windows Explorer has finally been redesigned, and that's been that has pretty much remained unchanged since and Windows 98, uh, even 95. Uh, and I have to apologize, my uh, battery might run out here because I don't have much left. Um, so, bottom line, if you stayed with Windows XP, this is the operating system to go with. If you're one of the people that actually liked Windows Vista, you will love this operating system because this is Vista fixed. Um, top of Windows Explorer, some of the immediate changes you'll notice. And actually, one thing that still irritates me, like I said yesterday, is the fact that... Uh, start menu other than you know some minor cosmetic and font changes is still the same um, although there is actually an option in there to change uh, the font on menus and whatnot uh, well you could do that before through a crack but it's a little easier now um, and the there is still no video option so hopefully they will fix that before the final build um, but the taskbar is probably the biggest change Essentially gone is the traditional quick launch and tabs and uh, programs. I think what they're trying to do is go with more of an Apple approach with something similar to the dock, whereas right now I have a few windows open. So essentially it's the same as if you have a taskbar, it's completely overloaded. But now you just go over to the Windows Explorer or Internet Explorer icon and there you go all the tabs I've got open right now uh, Windows Explorer is also default and Windows Media Player and then programs show up as you click on various things like if I were to go over to let's say Norton here we go we now have a Norton tab and uh, that's the other thing um, with virus protection or antivirus protection bad thing and a good thing was discovered with McAfee um, I had gotten it working partially although there were still some problems and not everything was functioning properly so I removed it although unlike Windows Vista when I removed the uh, partially functional program it actually removed uh, which I've always had problems with that on Vista and uh, now I'm running Norton 360 uh, when you install the beta uh, there are actually, unlike when uh, Vista was available in beta, there are antivirus prog programs that will work. Uh, Norton and Kaspersky both have beta versions um, that are compatible with Windows Vista or Windows 7, which is cool. And down here, just slight redesign of your programs, although basic idea, just doesn't take up quite as much space as it did before. M primarily just cosmetic changes, date, time, although it actually does give you the date now by default, uh, which it did not in Vista, although that's just a minor thing. And so is this a big change in terms of functionality? Yes, because like I said, essentially this is Windows Vista the way Vista probably should have been when it was released in the first place. Will it bring Mac users back to Windows or those who have switched? 
I don't know, I'd say probably not. I still prefer OS X Leopard. Um, like Windows is better now for functionality, but frankly, I still like the look of Leopard. I like the feel of Leopard. It's fine, Leopard faster. Uh, same thing with uh, OS 10.4 Tiger. Um, and they don't have something that's quite comparable to Time Machine. Um, unless there's something that I'm missing in there, which is the one feature that I really like from the current OS X. But it is definitely an improvement. And uh, I don't think a lot of us will be missing Vista. Because I know this computer has had issues ever since I... Well, actually, well, this one came with Vista pre-installed. It's uh, one of three computers I've had Vista running on, although I've always found Vista to be somewhat problematic on that thing. Uh, will I upgrade? I don't know. Probably. Um... Because it's not like the issues when uh, upgrading from XP to Vista where essentially nothing would work unless your computer was two months old and even then there were issues. Uh, this is fully backwards compatible with Vista. So if your computer runs Vista, your computer should run Windows 7 without any major problems. In fact, it will run Windows 7 smoother than Windows Vista because, as I said, the internal architecture is the same. This is just Vista fixed. And you can even tell in the numeric... Uh, designation Windows Vista was 6.0. Windows 7 is actually 6.1, which in itself indicates uh, that essentially it is the same operating system. Um, but it's the same operating system without the constant stream of headaches. So that is my two cents. I'm going to play around with it a little more. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today. So goodbye.